What's up everybody? I'm Chad Dorbier with Charleston Car Videos. Today I got a really cool old school car to show you. So stay tuned. It's something we don't get to see every day. So here we go. All right, everybody. I hope you're ex just as excited as I am about looking at this really cool car today. And uh, fortunately, I got the keys to it. So we'll be able to take it for a quick little spin. But this is a 1989 Alfa Romero Spider. Now, let me tell you right off the get-go, folks, I don't know a lot about this car. I mean, I'm, this is my first time even having the keys to one. But what I can do is show it to you. So hopefully in the comments section on YouTube today, y'all will be able to share a little information that y'all know about the Alfa Romero Spider back in 1989. And uh, that's why I love YouTube. I can put videos out and, and hopefully find some people out there like yourself that may have knowledge about these vehicles so I can learn from it as well. And it is for sale, by the way, just so you know, it is a for sale vehicle at Stokes Volkswagen. And uh, we'll definitely do our best to find a price out for you, let you see the mileage and condition and all that. So with that being said, this is a condition report video. And if y'all been on my channel before, you're, you're familiar with that. I will point out any dents, stings, or scratches, imperfections, and things like that on the vehicles. And uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and get started. So this one, of course, is white in color. So far, you know, just from standing out here for the last five minutes, taking a look at it, it's uh, it's in pretty good shape. I mean, the paint's looking good, and uh, I'm gonna show all that to you right now. Still got the plate on there. Looks like it's uh, Italy, right? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> got the Alfa Romero badge on the front. Still in good shape. Colors look nice. I mean, you could tell it's got a little rust on there. Or maybe it's not rust, I don't know. Maybe it's just discoloration or something like that. But for the most part, it's in pretty good shape. Hood's looking good. Look at the headlights. Headlights look nice, not faded out or anything like that. Those are your old school Sylvania halogen bulbs. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, the body looks like it's in great shape. Let's look at the wheels down here for a minute. Now they're small. I mean, rims and tires and all back in the days, back in the 80s and the 90s, I mean, they weren't all about 20 inch wheels. So these are a little bit smaller, but I can tell you a fat tire like that, that's a uh, 185 uh, to 185. It's a 185. 70, 14. Okay, man, it took me a minute, didn't it? So 185, 70 series, 14 inch five-star Alfa Romero wheel. Tires are in good shape, as you can see right there. And uh, yeah, it's got leather interior, tan convertible top. No key fobs, no smart keys with this car, folks. Just put it in the door, put it in the ignition, and get your butt riding down the road. So, so far, body's in good shape. Look at it, not bad. Pretty cool looking old school car, isn't it? You just don't get to see these all the time. Look at that. And so that's kind of like the rear deck lid spoiler on the back. I don't imagine this vehicle sitting here at the store for very long. So we got the antenna there. The antenna looks like it's in good shape. Back tires look good. That emblem's still in good shape. So passenger side body's looking good. So far I have not seen any dents, stings, or scratches on her. I mean, brand new set of wiper blades. Top looks good. Wow, wait. This thing's in good shape. I mean, it looks like a practically new top. I mean, this isn't all faded out. You can see right in there. This is nice. All right, well, there's the exterior. Let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, interior and trunk and all that stuff. And again, I will get inside in just a minute and do my best to crank it up and see how she runs. So anyways, let's go ahead and grab our keys here. This is your old school Alfa Romero key. And I already put the key in just a second ago and unlocked it, so it's good to go. Opens up real nice, nice and easy. Look at that. Go ahead and put my camera on autofocus, just in case we need to focus in on some stuff. There we go. Door panel's looking pretty good, right? 
Got those roll-up windows. I used to say, uh, when I found a car with roll-up windows, I'd say, less things to break 10 years down the road. And as you can see here, all these years later, the windows are still gonna roll right on down, as you can see there. And that's how you will roll your window up and down. This is how you will open your door. Let's go ahead and hop in and take a look. Before we do, let's look at our seats. Wow. I mean, definitely these seats have been recovered, I would assume. I mean, they just, they're in that good a condition. No rips, no tears on your seats. Well, I take that back. I do see a little tear up top on the top of that headrest there. Maybe they had the seats recovered and not the headrest. I'm really not sure. I mean, again, the seats may not have ever been recovered. I mean, some people just take that good a care of their cars. Let's hear if we can hear the horn. Horn's in good shape. Steering wheel, this is that classic, just plain old steering wheel, isn't it? No buttons, no controls, no paddle shifters there. <laughs> All right, let's hop in and take a look. I tell you, it's hot today. It is hot down here in South Carolina. Ooh. Now I'm about six foot one, and yeah, the seat goes back. All right, this could be fun on the weekends, couldn't it? This could be fun on the weekend, or even just cruising around, going to the car dealerships like I'm doing today. Let's go ahead and put the key in and I'm assuming this is the key that will go in It is a stick shift. So we'll push the clutch in way down here. Okay That was pretty easy to push in it wasn't too uh, it's not the pedals not too soft down there. and It's not too hard Okay I'm trying I'm trying to do this all with one hand Well, I got a camera rig in the other Okay, so that, hmm, let's see here, what are we doing wrong? Foot's on the brake, or on the clutch, okay, let's see here, put it in neutral, okay, I'm just not having any luck right this moment, okay, I got, I must be doing something wrong, uh, all right. In situations like this, I will, uh, oh, I put the camera down and get to work. So let's see what we got going on. Clutch. All right, I think I just didn't have the clutch all the way in. Give it a second, I give it a little gas. Oh no. Not this. I don't need no copyrights copyright problem all right this is a little different let's just let's just cut that off let's try again she's running give her a little gas don't want to flood her out you know how that goes folks and I definitely don't feel any power steering in here. All right, definitely gonna roll my window down because it is hot. And we will test the AC out and see if it actually still works in this old school car. Now, I don't know if I can guarantee that we're gonna have AC today, but we're gonna try. So we'll go ahead and cut that back on right there. Clock still works, it's 6.58 in the afternoon, that makes sense. And uh, here's our air vents. A little bit of information here to read off. So the mileage on this uh, 89 Alfa Romeo Spider graduate is uh, 97,153, five speed with overdrive. Uh, it's definitely white with brown leather interior. And that's really about all I have on here. You can go to stokesvw.com and pull up more information if you need it. But that's what I got right now. There's no price on here. And uh, I mean, that could be the original mileage. I really don't know. Okay, being an older car, you never know. All right, so anyways, let's see, is it getting cold? Well, there's one way to find out. Got it on full cold, right there. And I, right now, I'm not feeling any, I'm 
not really feeling any air coming out, but but anyways, we'll just leave it alone. We'll just safe to say right now it doesn't have AC, which whatever. Radio does work. Radio sounds like it should, like a car without any good, really good speakers in it. I mean, they're probably not, you know. Alpine stereo system, but anyways, all right, let's try revving it up a little bit Now you'll notice I'm gonna let you look in the mirror back here so you can see if there's any smoke coming out All right, no smoke All right now I'm gonna put the camera down for a minute and try to back it out of here I do not know which way reverse is. Volkswagens are usually like that, but anyways. Let off the clutch. Yep, I was right. All right. Get loud of here. All right, that ain't gonna work. Let's try it again. All right, we're in reverse. Doing better this time. Steering, holy mackerel. We're gonna get it out of here though. Ah, come on. There we go. That'll get your muscles going. Alright, we're driving. She's driving. All right. All right, we're driving. Uh -huh. All right, it's safe to say the AC is not working. Not that I, I can tell. So I'm going to turn that down so we can actually hear the, hear the sounds of the car. Pretty cool. We'll go scooter poot down the road here. Did I just say scooter poot? The only thing that's a little difficult if you're taller is the... Uh, the only thing that's difficult when you're taller is your feet down there. You know, they pretty much, I mean, with these boots on I got, they almost touch the uh, brake while I'm putting the gas down. I guess it just takes some getting used to. Oh man. It's five speed, so I'm at fourth right now. I'm driving good. Okay. Not bad. Convertible top's actually pretty quiet in here. I mean, I'm not hearing too crazy wind sound, but um, I'm going about 30 miles an hour. Now, I can't, I can only imagine, you know, if you're on the interstate going, you know, 50 or 60, it might be a little louder in here. But right now, pretty quiet for the most part. And um, she's riding good though. The uh, steering feels good. It's not pulling or anything, so the alignment feels great. And uh, it's got plenty of pickup. I mean, again, I can't really get on it too hard because I'm trying to drive and do camera work here at the same time. But um, as you can see there. But yeah, and actually, you know, once you get in here, it's not really that, it's, it's kind of comfortable. 
not bad. Let's downshift. All right, that's doing good. Got a couple little sounds here and there, a little jiggle, jiggle, jaggle right there with your uh, shifter. But you know, again, what do you expect, folks? It's a 1989. It's an older car. I'm just excited to see it still on the road and actually at a car store for sale, right? So someone actually traded this in last week. I remember seeing it in the back, and I figured they'd just send it to the auction and get rid of it. But uh, I guess the manager, Mr. Mike, in there, he decided to uh, put it out on the lot, right? Why not? Why not? Yeah. Third gear. Apologize if you hear me uh, spitting. I'm just, it's really hot. So I got a lot of saliva going on here. Anyways, pretty cool, running good. Now for Romero, we're going down the road here. All right, when we get back, I'll pull into the front of the store and we'll pop the hood while it's running and, uh, and see how she's doing after driving it for a few minutes. And it's probably been cranked up now for eight, nine minutes, something like that. I'd say if you're interested in buying it, come on down to Stokes Volkswagen on Ashley Phosphate Road in North Charleston. If you know a lot of y'all on YouTube may not live here in Charleston, and uh, if you're interested in one that's in good shape like this, just give them a call. I mean, we can ship it. I mean, they'll put it on a they'll put it on a flatbed truck and bring it out there to you, wherever you live at. It don't matter. Driving good though. This could be really fun. You drop the top down on it. I'll find out what the price is before this video ends. I promise you that. And just take into consideration, it is being sold for retail out here on a car lot. So the price could be a little bit higher than what you want to spend. But as you can see, it's in pretty good shape. Right, let's pull her in. I mean, not the easiest to drive without power steering, but hey. Maybe you can add power steering to it. All right, let's get her pulled in and see what's going on. All right, we'll keep the camera rolling, folks. I don't really know where the e-brake's at. Do y'all know where the e-brake is at? Oh, it's right there. <laughs> there we go. All right, puts off the clutch. It does got a hood pop right here. Look at that. Whoo, man. Man, it's some, for some reason, it feels more like a workout after getting out of that thing. But, I mean, my body feels like I got a good workout out of that one. Anyways, let's take a look here. So this is kind of cool. It opens up like that, and there's your engine. Let's listen to it run. Looks like a little four-banger under there. I'm not sure exactly what liter size, but I see four spark plugs, so I know it's a four-banger. Again, you're more than welcome to send me some comments and let me know what you think. I'm trying to look on there and see what we got. Uh-huh. Where are you at? Alfa Romero. Oh, I'm looking for the liter size on that sticker. I'll let y'all look there while I'm looking over here. All right, I don't see a motor size under there. I do know it's a four-cylinder, though. Got to be. So there she is. Before we go, hold on. I did see some speakers in the back. And the carpets are about as clean as they're gonna get. There it is, folks. I will find out the price, I promise, and I'll post it in the description on the video. If you're interested, again, stokesvw.com. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Let us know what you think of this cool-looking 
out for a marrow spider. We'll see you soon.